everybody and welcome back to Ultimate General Civil War. Chris here and second bull run was a victory, but a costly victory. Um, although first court is pretty much up to full strength. Uh, we have no recruits left. We only have 38 grand. And second court is not at full strength at all, it's missing an entire division, it's missing skirmishers, it's missing cavalry, and third corps, well, third corps has just been totally and utterly destroyed. Oh, McClellan, you, you have a, a promotion, let's give you some endurance and stuff. Yeah, that helped. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is, this is bad. Uh, we need cavalry in here. Um, we need cavalry in here. We need to finish off my gap, get my gap back up to strength. We need to finish 4th Division, which... And we need to finish off this, because I've got a feeling we're going to need this for Antietam. I really do. I think we're going to need this for Antietam. We're going to need at least guns. I'm probably not going to need cavalry. We've got an awful lot of cavalry. We've got, we should have 4 divisions of cavalry. 4 divisions? 4 but Brigades of cavalry, um, which the way we're doing cavalry is 3,000 cavalry. That is awesome. Um, but I've got a feeling we're going to need these infantry in some way, shape, form, whatever. We're going to need them. Um, I don't think we need you, McClellan, in that job. We can probably switch you out for a major and no one on white. Uh, cost. That's better. Brag. We'll swap you out for Wayne Chu, who's probably going to go up anyway, so... Yeah, that's better. Sort of. After a fashion. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's just one of those things, unfortunately. Um, things are just... I lost control of my army on second bull run. I got caught up in a, a, a major military action in the trees, which was just murder for our troops. I should have focused on the right flank, which was primed to break, we were told at the beginning. Instead, I tried to push around and take it out. Um, I got the cavalry cut off. That's on me as well. That battle, I, I just want to put it out of my head. But unfortunately, every time I look at this game now, I think second ball run. <laughs> How badly I, I handled that. I handled that so badly. So, we have now got to basically try and build up our, um, our forces for this battle. Which is a sl slightly hard to select. I think I'm saying it right when I say Antietam. Four hundred fifty thousand dollars and eighteen thousand troops. Twenty-five reputation for a win. Man, do I want that! So before that, we've got Crompton's Gap, which gives us one hundred thirty-five thousand and eighty-five hundred troops, as does South Mountain. Hopefully, we'll be able to do both of these. With we're going to take losses. We know we're going to take losses, but hopefully, we can take them without taking too many losses. Um, and uh, pick some stuff up I've got to remember if we're going into trees we have to be have the numerical superiority and be able to focus our fire like two brigades onto one brigade things like that so they're forced out we can force them out then we can use the trees to our advantage we're in cover they're not maximum damage it's my own fault it's my own fault uh, so we're gonna go with Crompton's Gap to begin with Rebels have decided to, for the first time, to invade the northern soil. Lee has split his forces into an attempt to secure a supply line to Maryland. 
Jackson with the left wing of the rebel army is attacking Harper's Ferry. Ooh, where the rifles come from, no doubt. A strategic town with an arsenal. Yep, that would be why. <clears throat> you need to drive a part of your army through Crompton's Gap to break the siege. The rest of your army must check the right wing of the rebel army spotted at Boonesborough. Okay, so did not defeat the enemy at Battle of South Mountain. Enemy army is bigger in size. Did not defeat the enemy at Battle of Crompton's Gap. Enemies. So we have no choice here. Either way, we're going to take a, a tough fight. I think we'll do Crompton's Gap. It sounds smaller. <coughs> um, you know, it's like Mountain Gap. Going with Gap. Okay, so we want all this. We want all the stuff. Uh, we'll go with first call. It's the most full strength thing we have. Um, yeah, we get to take all the soldiers. Uh, okay, so 11,128 and 30 guns. 34,072 guns. We should have the advantage here. <coughs> I stress should. General, our scouts report that a small Confederate force is standing guard at the gap. We must attack and secure the passage. Most of our forces are half an hour behind the garrison of Harper's Ferry. Oh, but the garrison of Harper's Ferry will soon run out of time. We need to move fast, else the town will fall into rebel hands. And I want those rifles. Uh, okay, we'll go with one's jackals. There. Uh, 76, you can go there. I don't want Moogle's horses. I don't. I want cannons. Hodgson. Scales. I want scales. <clears throat> 22 guns. Boil. Get there. And rival there. Right. Um, it's not the great tactical position. One is jackals. I want you to run to there. 76th. We'll get you to the edge of this kind of river here. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some good effective fire. Centurions. Where do I want to put the centurions? I think what I want to do is I want to push the right flank. If we get the 76th to pull there and then hold, one of the jackals can get into there and fire that way, the centurions can come around the outside. That's not a bad idea. It's not a good idea, but it's not a bad idea. Okay, people, <clears throat> that's the plan. Let's rock this. Pause. Wines Jackals. At the run. There. 76. At the run. There. Centurions. Can you guess? At the run. There. If we need to separate off some... Uh, Let's put the cannons in the trees. Yeah. Um, if we need to, uh, pull the one jackals across here, then we will. But we are basically these two units are just to hold. It's the centurions that are going to do the major damage by coming around the back and hitting people in the back. All right, let's do this. Go, people. Go, 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 go. Wines Jackal's already taking damage. So the 76th. <clears throat> Got to worry about them coming around the back here. 
suppose we could have sent the Centurions this way. We're holding until we get some reinforcements, really? That's the plan. Okay, you can come off the run now. And so can you. Excellent moves. Good, 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 good. This is what we like. We like this. Centurions. Oh, they got cavalry. Fire into them, Centurions. Nice. Come on, break. Don't chase, don't chase, don't chase. into them. Nice. Come on, where's my reinforcements? We're supposed to have way more troops than this. Out the run. Get in there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Might be able to push with one's jackals. I think we might be able to. Um, I'd rather. Way here we go. Reinforcements. Egan, Red Moogle. Go to there. Don't go outside. Uh, Excelsior Brigade. There. At the run. Predators. Here. At the run. What else we got? Buford? Oh, even better. Buford, I want you in behind here. Uh, in here. At the run. We're going to put the Predators up front. Hodgson. There. We've already slowed them down. One's jackals. Uh, let's get you there. You're at the run, centurions. Excellent. This is good.
the Excelsior Brigade ready to come up from behind. Actually, you fire at them. I'm going to wait for these guys to get some reinforcements and then we're going to send them in. Excelsior, get in behind Centurions. We're going to put you on the extreme right flank. You're going to come in Buford. Archer, get to there. Scales, get to there. Boyle, stay with them. Rival, up there. Seventy six, at the run. Come on, move your butt. Everyone else is waiting on you. Just got the viewpoint as well. This is good. Okay, they've got a lot of troops up there. They're trying to hold something in reserve. Fire into those cannons. I want them dead and out of the way. That's it. Cannons have fallen back. Archon across the river. Scales across the river. You two. Focus there, you push forward. Scales, start hammering that. Hodgson, start hammering that. Jackals, get into this field. Out the run. Fire into them, come on. Yeah, we got crumbs in the gap. Move 
move the cans forward. Egan, what are you doing back there, buddy? Get back up there. Because I'm wanting my cavalry to be ready to jump in. Take him down, come on, take him down, take him down, take him down. Pull back. Get up there, give him some ammo. Cannons are dead. Seventy six, get on that. Predators, get around the outside. Buford. Take out those skirmishes, please. Oh, mouse hitting the bottom of the screen didn't mean that had to happen. Keep pushing forward. One is Jekylls. I want you to stay there. Actually, fall back one. Fall back. Predators, take the lead. 76, move forward. Buford, get into these trees over here. Centurions, help them out. Yes. Okay, 15,000 infantry versus 10,288. It always seems like they have more. It always does. Uh, they had no cavalry. We had 1,500, 44 guns versus 30 guns. We lost none of our guns. They, we lost 17 men. They lost 346 men and 14 guns. Excellent. We lost 123 cavalry, 1,806 casualties, 3,836. That's because of the trees. Uh, must hold Crumpton's Gat, hold, lose less than 40% of your army. Yeah, for what the job is, yeah. Um, Wines Jackals took a heavy toll, but they were out in the open. We had to use that, though, so that we can get as many guns to bear. Everyone else is pretty manageable. This shouldn't be too bad to respec. Uh, officers, Wade Wagner. <laughs> I thought he would get permission this, <laughs> this man. We just... Gave him his own command, and now he's a, he's a general. Um, J Tower, excellent. Okay. Goods, uh, rescued the Palmettos. Uh, 1855, rescued, yeah. Harpers Ferries, Colts, 1842s, 483, some Type 2s, some Reborn Farmers, Sharps Model, 1885. Oh, we captured four Napoleons, that's nice, and 46 Hunters. Nothing spectacular, but we can work with what we've got. And we got a career point. Which I am immediately going to put into reconnaissance. I want this second reconnaissance. I do. I just want it. I definitely want it for the coming battle. Uh, we're going to stick with rookies. I know it's going to cost us some efficiency and stuff like that. But... Okay, maybe not with you. How much would it cost us to... Uh, 
go to say 13 grand. That's an awful lot of money we've just spent. Oh, yes, We're gonna lose morale on things. I know it's just gonna happen. Uh, Egan, let's get you your set of 50. There you go. Oh, Buford. Yes, sir. Excelsior, good jobs. All round people, good, good jobs. We're liking this. Uh, Morrison, can we get you up to 500? Yes, sir. Yes, we can. Okay. Oh, we can put you up to 12. And it only costs us 17 grand. Nice. Yes, sir. That's going to help. That's going to help a lot. Um, oh. That's a pretty sight. That is a pretty sight. 72 guns. Alright, uh, my gats. You're done. Miles. Uh, we need another... Skirmish, uh, cavalry Brigade. that done. They're all maxed out. Twenty-two grand. It's because we have to buy them in. Let's sort you guys out first because we're going to need you in the coming battles. I know it. You know it. We all know it. Yes, sir. Form line. Bang! Parker literally maxed us out. Okay, we can't even get cannons. We have... But we don't have the hundred men to do it. We could almost do a full 24 cannon battery. We wouldn't be able to do anything else, but we could almost do it. This third corps is there to basically help the other two corps. I mean, I still haven't got the fourth division. I would like to try and get that with what comes up next. If we can get another fairly cheap victory for want of a better word I mean there's we could take just stick with two divisions in third core that would be okay a couple of cannon batteries again nothing spectacular but it would be okay move Stuart across to second core then all we need to do is two more infantry divisions. That's 5,000 troops. Um, another cannon battery. Be nice. We don't really need the skirmishers. We have our uh, cavalry. So another cannon battery. And that's a hard-hitting unit. That's you know, no finesse, no nothing, just boom. Get out of my way. That would work. And then we have... ...15,000 men and two cannon batteries. 
to block up a flank or punch a hole through a pretty tough in interior line. And you can tell I've been watching American football because I just used the terminology like interior line. Right now, behind me, Red Moogle is watching uh, the taped Vikings versus 49ers game. I'll be watching it in a minute. But she's watching it right now because I'm taping and she's in there and she'll be kind of going, I don't know what the score is and things like that. And it will drive me insane. Um, what we will do is give you some bits. Uh, we've got 26. Is there anything we can pick up for that? Oh, we could pick up 12 Napoleons. Oh. Yeah, we don't have enough to spend. And I'm not spending it on officers. We've got plenty of officers. We're good for officers. That'll take us to 30. We still won't have enough for that after this next fight. Suckage. But still. This is not looking bad. We're still short on the 20 pounder parrots. We don't have any more. We have a battery of 12. That's pretty good. That's half strength battery. But does long range damage. You've got these short range or short to medium range uh, batteries, and we've got 72 of them. Stick them in a line, shoot that way. Oh, shoot that way. Just realized my hands were out of the side. You couldn't see them. Doesn't make a difference. Okay. This isn't looking bad, although I am interested in what you guys have to think about this. Uh, let's do some letters. We're currently, uh, currently, <laughs> currently, yeah, we're currently regrouping our forces after the Battle of Crompton's Gap and seek for an opportunity to counterattack General Christoph Rival. Unfortunately, we have suffered severe casualties and we are unable to advance more aggressively. I am confident that we can defeat Christoph Rival if we receive more support from you, Lieutenant General Jesse Haney. I'll go with Haney. Captured message. Your military efforts in the Battle of Crompton's Gap have been valiant. The President recognizes that Christoph Rival is a surprisingly able Yankee commander, so he has approved to send you 3,000 of our bravest troops to aid in your fight against him, Lieutenant General Kurt Post. Urgent report. The Confederates are reinforcing their positions with 3,500 raw recruits. We suggest that you urgently counter this move, Colonel Herman Mygat. Okay, so the next fight will be South Mountain. But because we just did Crompton's Gap, enemy strength is down 2.5%. That's actually helpful. What have we got in Antietam? Um, defeated the enemy at Battle, uh, Battle of Second Bull Run, inflicting many casualties upon the enemy. Enemy army south down 5%. Defeated the enemy at Battle of Crompton's Gap. Effect. Minus 2.5% enemy army size. Okay, so I'm assuming if we do that and beat South Mountain, we'll get another 2.5%. So that would be 10% in total. It doesn't sound like a lot when you think of the general terms, but when you think of it along the lines of the army is 109,000 to 114,000. That's 10,000? Well... Yeah, roughly speaking. Almost 11,000 men. One of our divisions is 15,000. Nope, oh, sorry. Two of our divisions are 15,000. There's 7,500 each. So that's practically a division and a half's worth of men. That is almost two divisions of men. That's a lot! And we get all that. And I will win this battle. I want all that. If we can keep our losses manageable, that will make us a three core army. Assuming we have all the equipment, of course. But it'll be South Mountain next, so 
thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. If you're new to the channel, like what you saw, please do consider subscribing. We're soldiering on. We are making inroads. If I can keep my losses low. Wands Jackals was a really bad example. The other brigades were much better examples. Um, we lost an awful lot out of Wands Jackals. I didn't mean for that to happen, and it cost a lot to replace. But everyone else, that was the kind of losses I, I was looking to make. Um, nice, easy refills. Kept the impact on our recruits low. If I can get that second, uh, that fourth division on second core done, and have two divisions for third core, hopefully with cannon support, we can just sit third core on a flank or something and just go, yeah, come on, you've got two whole divisions to get through plus their cannons. Good luck with that, buddy. Even if they are on outdated weaponry, it's still going to make any attack bloody. Very bloody. So, yeah. And again, we could just send them straight up the middle. 15,000 men. And hopefully, 24 guns plowing straight through. They'll make an impact. They will make an impact. <sighs> but it would be so nice to have eight divisions to do the rest of the work with. Until next time. You lot, take care of yourselves. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.